Hey, Neil Smith here. In this video, we use Mercator sailing to solve for true course and distance to a destination, given the coordinates of the start point and the destination. Come on, let's get this. Mercator sailing practice problem nine. A vessel at latitude 10 degrees, 22.0 minutes south, longitude 7 degrees, 18.0 minutes east, heads for a destination at latitude 6 degrees, 52.0 minutes north, longitude 57 degrees, 23.0 minutes west. Determine the true course and the distance by Mercator sailing. So we're on problem 9. We're on problem nine, and we need to figure out little l first, which is the difference north and south that we traveled. So let's do that. And we'll take latitude one, record that as 10 degrees, 22 minutes. 10 degrees, 22.0 minutes, and that was south. And then latitude two, equals six degrees, 52.0 minutes north. Six degrees, 52.0 minutes north. And we need to figure out where we went here and what the difference is. So we started at south. We started here down 10 degrees south and we went up to six degrees north we passed the equator and we went north so we went north and because we went over the equator we have to add these together so let's add these together zero and zero three two is four two and five is seven and then ten and six 16 degrees so 74 minutes that we should bring, we can bring those over, but we're going to convert this to minutes anyways, so it's all right. So let's convert this 16 degrees to minutes. We'll multiply by 60 because there's 60 minutes and one degree. So 16 times 60 equals 960, 960 plus 75. 4.0 equals, this is going to equal our little l's, so little l equals 960 plus 74 equals 1,034, 1,034 minutes north. That's our little l. Now we need to find quad, our uh, meridional parts, M1. So M1 is going to be equal to lat 1, and we're at 10 degrees, 22 minutes south. So we find our 10. We find our 10 on top and our 22 on the side. So 10, 22, and the 6 comes down. So 6 to 1.3. 6 to 1.3. 6 to 1.3. And we find our M2 now which is 652. So we find our 6 on top, our 52 on the side. So 6 down to 5, 2. Good. 6 degrees, 52. So this 4 comes down. We got 4, 10.2. 4, 10.2. 4, 10.2. And now be careful here because we added these. So we have to add these. So one, three. So we get five, one, three, ten. Good. So our little m is equal to the difference between these two. But since we cro crossed the equator, we're adding them. So the difference is here. And now let's find... We need to find our D low, which is distance east and west. 
So we're going to find d low with latitude 1, the difference between latitude longitude 1 and longitude 2. So let's find longitude 1 in number 9 is long. 7 degrees 18 minutes east. 7 degrees 18, 18 point zero minutes east. And then longitude 2 is equal to right here. 5723 west. 57 degrees 23.0 west. Double check that. 5723 west. Okay, this is interesting too. Because now we're working, it looks like we crossed the prime meridian here. We started 7 degrees east. So here's the east. We started here at about 7 degrees east. And we went to... 57 west which is over here we went this way we went from east to west so we went west but we crossed zero so we're going to add these together because we went down and then we went back up so we headed west and we need to add these together <clears throat> so we went west and we need to add these 8, 9, 10, 11, 41 minutes west, 14, 64 degrees, 41.0 minutes west. And so let's convert these degrees to minutes. We'll get it all in minutes. So 64, 64 times 60 equals 3840. 3840 plus these 41 minutes here. This will equal our D low. So D low equals 3881 minutes west. There's our D low. Now let's figure out where we are, what quadrant we're in. So we can figure out our course from north, north, south, east, west. And we said we went, first we went north. So our course was in this direction. And then we went west and in this direction. So our course from, we're somewhere in here. So our, the C we find is going to be here. But the problem wants CN, which is course from north. So it wants the course all the way from north, all the way around to here. So we're going to have north, course, course, west. And so our CN is actually going to be 360 degrees minus this bit here. So 360 degrees minus our course. And now let's get our course. So the course is going to equal tangent negative 1 d low over m. So tan negative 1 d low is 3, 8, 8, 1 over m, 1031.5, 1031 1031.5. Then we can punch that in and get these numbers. Shift, tan negative 1, 3881, 3881, divided by 1031.5, 1031.5 equals 75.116. 75.116. One one six. That's our course. So let's plug this in up here. Cn equals three sixty minus seventy five point one one six. You can just go minus three sixty. So two eighty four point eight eight four. So Cn equals two eighty four point eight eight. 
four. So that's your course from north. Your CN all the way from north we went all the way around and it was 284.884. This should be one of the answers we can check. And now let's get our distance, which equals little m over the cosine of c. So our little m is up here, 1034 over cosine of c, which is cosine of 75.116. So our distance equals, let's get that, 1034 <clears throat> divided by the cosine of 75.116. Okay, that gives us 4,025.493. Let's see if that looks like one of the answers. So on 9, we get what, two eight, essentially 285. Okay, here we got 285, two of them. And then our distance is 4,025 4, here. Here we nailed it, 285, 4,025.7. I would say D. We can check our answers. Yeah, we got 9 is D. So that's Mercator Sailing, practice problem 9. <laughs>